This is breaking news from Local 3 News. Thank you for staying with us as we continue this special report and special coverage. I'm Latrice Curry. And I'm Calvin Sneed. Vice President Kamala Harris just wrapped up her speech at Q Cells in Dalton. Our Local 3's Greg Glover was inside the manufacturing facility listening to the speech. He joins us now with a recap. Greg. About a 12 minute speech, you guys, with not many surprises from the information we had earlier today, but she took a minute to praise Senators Ossoff and Warnock from Georgia, said that in front of the cameras and behind the scenes, they are always working for Georgia families, said America's progress has always been fueled by the uh, ambitions and aspirations of her people. And she praised local leaders here in Dalton, Whitfield County, and North Georgia overall for investing in these industries of the future. Uh, prior speakers said they're going to triple their workforce here, and with that, the vice president said this is one of the largest solar panel manufacturers in the country, and she said, by the way, they make the best. We'll have more information this evening on the big deal that's going to encompass two and a half million solar panels uh, constructed over the next eight months at this factory that works 24 hours a day in Dalton. That's where we are live for Local 3 News. I'm Greg Glover. Back to you. Okay, thank you so much there, Greg. Now, right before her speech, she toured the Q-Cells plant facility. Let's take a look at that video, and you see her right there. And we were able to listen in on a little bit of it, Calvin, what That's she was right. saying as she was touring. Yeah, there was a lot of noise uh, going on, but you could hear she said, she, she commented on the fact that there's plenty of expansion room at this particular plant, Q-Cells in Dalton. She said the solar panels, you know, to be shipped out, you know, apparently uh, uh, this company is ready to do that. She said it, it, it is exciting, exciting to be investing in this kind of technology right now, which is all part of the president's Invest, invest in America uh, campaign that he's got. This is one of several stops that he's making and, and that she's, she's also ma making. Right, and his team, and they're all basically spread out all across the country right now um, promoting this and, um, you know, sharing the word about this, this particular program and what it means for communities across this country, like Dalton. All right, let's get to now Jemiah Beatty. She is live right now um, outside of Q-Cells. Jemiah. Good afternoon, Latrice. Yes, we're still outside Q-Cells. You know what, now we're starting to see more people come out after Kamala, the vice president's speech. Now, I did hear from some officials in Georgia who say they are very excited about the program and what it means to residents in the state of Georgia. There are some other benefits though about Q cells that it's environmentally friendly, more efficient, and will create jobs. Another plus is that the unique solar technology will benefit thousands of homes and businesses. This is good news for the economic growth and it will make Georgia, it will add Georgia to the, make it a uh, competitor in the global market. Now there's a lot more happening, hopefully, as more people start to walk out and we'll get you some sound from those who had a chance to listen to her. Um, reporting live in, Dal in Georgia, I'm Jeremiah Beatty. <laughs> that's right. They said our cruise in Dubai. That's right. That's okay. She's excited. I yes, can tell. They She's are. excited. And they have been so busy all day. Our crews have done an absolutely wonderful job. They are all spread out. And just want to remind people, we're also going to hear from uh, Mayor Tim Kelly and also Police Chief Celeste Murphy a little later this evening as well. Stay Thanks with for us. joining us.